Anushka and welcome to the book fair vlog. Okay, let's start from the basics. So I visited the fair two times. Yup, first on the opening day and on the closing day as well. And my experience on both the days was vastly different, not just because of the crowd, but because of the discounts and offer. And overall, the presentation and the vibe of the book fair was different. So how did I reach that? You could obviously take the an auto or bus. I took the metro route, which was which I found most easiest one. Reach the Supreme Court metro station. You could you could buy either buy the ticket from the metro station it, itself, twenty for adult and ten for children. On the first visit, I had booked my ticket online, but on the second Second visit, I did take the kit ticket from the metro station. You had to exit from the third metro or third gate of the metro station and walk for like maybe 100 or 200 meters, just two minute walk. Com if you compare the last day, it was so damn crowded. It was just cramped up. Next, uh, on the first day, I walked, but on my second visit, I realized that it was better to take a shuttle. And apparently, it was it had changed. So there were newly constructed exhibition halls, which to me looked marvelous. On the first day i happened to you know check out that the inauguration ceremony amphitheater was full full uh, on the first day itself and then now once you enter the hall you could see these tiny booths about indian history and its constitution this wasn't there on my first visit they were still setting it up uh, and as i entered the inner hall there was penguin publisher on the left side and atlantic publishers on the right side and my god in this clip this is a clip of the last day people was it was so crowded and people were so tired that they were sitting on the floor and i was surprised because i did not expect it penguin though it felt like was bhagwan ka darbar matlab it had this curtain long queue people were people waited for 5 minutes and they used to drop this curtain no entering till then then they used to pull up this curtain you can enter in, during that time visit and then get out so it was that crowded penguin matlab sachhi mein bhagwan ka darbar lag raha tha itni bheed so I, it felt nice yaar ki matlab there were so many people who actually were interested in books and um, anyways i entered the penguin publisher on my first day because it just attracted me personally i i discovered a lot of new titles from the indian fictional range and international fiction was the collection was of course great and at penguin on the first day as well it was quite you know packed up then uh, there were these vintage book beautiful covers vintage collection i personally loved each and every book i wish i had that that much of money to buy these books they were black you know the vintage classics and black classics as well there was this specific cover of murakami this book which i just fell in love and i actually discovered checked it out on the, my last on my last day so yeah uh, next i checked out atlantic publishers and this is a mixed up video so i checked out atlantic publishers on my last day visit and they had a mixed collection so they had academic books and fictional books as well uh, in fictional books um, what attracted me was uh, this mahabharata series uh, there's this whole bundle there um, and then in academics you could find ag agricultural books you could find science mathematics each and every sort of book you could find and at Atlantic Publishers, people were, you know, actually sitting there and reading those books. So it was kind of, it had academic vibe there at Atlantic Publishers. Next, I checked out the beautiful yellow crossword bookstore. They offered 10% discount on the first day and on the last day as well. They did not increase the pricing. They had in international book bestsellers. The collection was not much in my opinion comparatively next i checked out jaco publishing house which had more of non-fiction bestsellers like psychology of money and Sadhguru's books i also was attracted to this publishing house's logo and setup manjul they also had more of non-fiction books but the setup was just so beautiful uh, by this time i was tired okay uh, it does not look much in the video but almost two hours had passed on by then so i found a place that is the main stage where you know they had guest speakers um, and seats were there and you had Az azadi mahotsav's exhibition kind of the walls were decorated i wasn't able to capture much because by that time i was just searching for a place to sit and find a chair uh, so i just captured a video 
sitting while sitting you can see that there were acts going on so when i gained my energy a bit and i stood up my task was to find harper collins simon and schuster rupa publishing house i was it was so chaotic because it was my first visit so you enter from one place you exit from one galley and i was just a little confused so i was like there has to be harper and collins where is there by then i had just moved here and there i was returning to the same place but thankfully i calmly stood there and moved you know in one direction uh, and then i reached rupa publishing house which is lf uh, book uh, you know part of lf book publishing and they were offering 25% discount they were offering a lot on the first day itself the same what they offered on the last day and the collection was also good yaar and then i checked out these small book stores which retail use books like kitab lovers then there was kapoor and sons these tiny shops i did not did not visit much because as i said i was tired by then and my whole enthusiasm and excitement had calmed down because my legs my toes were paining by then i was on a mission as i said i wanted to find out bloomsbury simon and schuster harper collins and finally i got my way to those uh, book stalls i first checked out bloomsbury oh my god their wall was just so pretty i feel like even though penguin was the most crowded one its wall wasn't decorated much it wasn't that fancy while brooms bloomsbury and harper collins were just so go thankful that i visited harper and collins uh, on the first day they were still set still setting it up uh, they offered 10% discount on the first day on the last day they doubled it to 20% and they even uh, had this stall this counter where they they had books for 50% off half the price at simon and schuster the thing that uh, caught my eye uh, were these classic books now usually book covers are hard book covers but this book cover was leathery feel it was so soft and beautiful oh my god the pages were smooth and the book cover just simply attracted me and yeah they also had these food stalls in the open you could sit there eat enjoy the vibe but unfortunately i couldn't because by the time i exited the halls it had already been 8:15 or 8:20 and in front of me like i was just going to order on my face said no ma'am we are closing no ma'am we are closing because of course it had been more than 8 o'clock so the timings were from 11 to 8 so alas i had to just leave that place <laughs> and eat somewhere outside okay so the only book that i got for myself is the marriage clock by zara rahim this i discovered there i was fascinated by the blurb and the cover as well and i somewhere felt like it would be relatable to me i have read around 10 pages and i must say i am quite sure i would enjoy reading this book um i will definitely review uh, share my review and my thoughts on this book this is retails for 450 25% off was there on this one i got it for 360 rupees and i am happy with this purchase so yeah that was my experience of visiting the world book fair both days were different not just in terms of discounts but the vibe on the first day was more little calm and settled the books were more set properly on the last day it was a havoc everybody was running gear and their books were not settled much of course they were doing their job but um, people were just grabbing on to books the book counters the cash counters were full and i genuinely for the first time i felt like people do read books it's not that people don't i would definitely suggest you to visit one book fair or the other the vibe is just so fulfilling and it's just so um, you know welcoming there yeah uh, let me know if you visited the book fair comment down below and let me know what was your experience and yeah with that said i'll see you later with another video until then bye bye